My name is John Amy. In 1982 and 83, my wife Ulrika and I traveled up and down the eastern coast of India, filming and studying the various performance uh, forms that used masks and puppets. We're trying to find out their interrelations, their variety, and how these various genres connected to each other and took on their own performative life. One of the remarkable forms in eastern India is that of Purulia Cho. You'll see instances of the performance of the story of Durga and also of Abhimanyu Bhad, the death of Abhimanyu, as done by one of the leading troops of Purulia. The Purulia Cho had just recently toured in America and uh, in Europe and had been discovered, but of course the history is uh, much older than that. It's a remarkably vigorous form. It's conducted very much like uh, competing sporting groups conducted in the West. The mythological tales that are told are redirected to the lives of the performers in this much neglected area of India. You'll see the story of Durga, her defeat of the demon Mahisasura, and you'll also see the story of Arjuna's son Abhimanyu and how he takes on the Karava enemies and defeats the army of the Karavas one by one but finally falls to them when they disobey the rules of combat and fight him altogether in a way which uh, he has no hope of surviving. This is an unusual instance of a performance moving towards death in India. And the story of Abhimanyu is used in this area as a way of talking about a young man who may have gone to Calcutta and become a rickshawwala, for example, uh, and who dies from a, an enlarged heart at an early age. And what is frequently said is he died the death of Abhimanyu. He fought nobly against impossible circumstances. The people who were performing this dance were agricultural. Some of them were hunters, only one day after that. But uh, they were so energetic and vigorous.
People of Perulia is poor. Their soil is very hard. They don't even get uh, two meals per day. But from where they generate so much energy? The energy generated by the drummers and the audience and the dancers themselves. Within the mass and the dance is a tremendous energy so that the whole people can share their own uh, reality of their hard life and hard soil. And perhaps to me, this is the only explanation that Cho uh, is thereby surviving and uh, by patronizing by the people so much so that all the villagers almost have got two or three or five or six groups of Cho parties. Cho dance is our life. We derive it from our own environment and from our own soil and culture.